out on an island in the pristine waters of the Pacific Northwest sits a $30 million sea farm. Not just an ordinary sea farm challenging the environment, one that actually gives back. One of the things that's always been extremely important to my dad has been the environment. What's incredible about, uh, about this process is that we bring in a small, a very small amount of seawater into the facility to recreate the spring bloom on land. And in order to get the amount of microalgae that we're growing on land, we would have to bring in uh, a massive amount and deplete the ocean of a, of a very, very viable food source. Whereas the water that's leaving our facility actually contains more phytoplankton that is going directly back out into the ocean than what was originally brought in. And he is providing even a larger source of that back to Mother Nature and that's, that's beautiful. In the age of World Wide Web, cloning and moonwalkers, now we can naturally grow and harvest phytoplankton. I built on this site a large shellfish hatchery, one of the largest in the world. And in order to proceed with producing the amount of seed that we require, I got into the business of growing algae. I did come up with a method that I could grow any quantity, any amount at any time of these algae outdoors as well as indoors. His process that he's developed is unique. Uh, the big difficulty is how do you harvest something? These, these single-celled photosynthetic organisms are like little, tiny little one-celled plants floating around in the water. I mean, how do you get them out of the water and into, into your product? And he's developed a process where it's a very quick and easy way of extracting all the nutrients from these cells. Phyto, meaning light, plankton, meaning floating or suspended, is the base of life source as we know it. According to NASA, it is responsible for up to 90% of oxygen in our atmosphere. With thousands of single-cell microscopic plants in the ocean, it has eluded man until now. You know, I'm just grateful that I was chosen to find this product because it's been very elusive. It's eluded man until now and here we have it and um, I'm going to help as many people as we can, I hope. Throughout history, necessity continues to be the mother of all invention. He was creating the phytoplankton uh, to feed a shellfish and as the business grew his health started to deteriorate and I used to think that he was just maybe overworked or, you know, tired and he ended up getting diagnosed with some pretty serious illness about a year ago. They had diagnosed me with a, quite a serious cancer. In fact, a very serious cancer. It's called mesothelioma. And there's only about 2,000 cases a year in North America. Nobody survives. With just nine weeks to a few months to live, Mr. Harper did the unimaginable. I was not expecting what I heard. They basically uh, gave him nine weeks to nine months to live. Well, it was a pretty big blow, so trying to get my affairs in order, which had to be done. We then, um, you know, just basically settled down to, for me to start slowly, you know, dying. I had to go down and pick out his grave plot, and that was a really, um, just a very horrible, raw, vulnerable time. While all this was happening, getting ready for his surgery, we had all been giving him a bit of a hard time because he had been eating phytoplankton out of the tanks at work. And I was actually getting pretty upset with him about doing that because it's for whales, it's for oysters, it's for fish, it's for krill. So I said, are you crazy? You know, he's literally sticking his finger in the tanks and, and eating this stuff raw. I started on a daily routine of just taking a bit of paste putting it in my mouth and wash it down with a drink of water and go about my daily business, what I could do. And within about 10 to 15 days, here I am starting to less pain in my back. I knew that something was going on, so I just kept eating half a teaspoon of this paste a day. I was booked to go for a surgery in Victoria where they were going to do what they call a talc treatment. And they take a medical grade talcing powder, they introduce it into your between your lungs and your pleural lining and uh, keep you in the hospital for a few days. And that there uh, causes your lungs to fuse together and it stops you from drowning in your own fluids that are built up. The head surgeon came out and had a very uh, 
odd look on his face. I said to my mom, oh, oh my God, something's happened. Uh, my dad's died, um, and I was just shaking and panicking, and, and the surgeon came up to me and he said, you know, I don't know what's going on here, uh, but there's a strange foreign white substance covering uh, your dad's tumors in his lungs, and we've never seen anything like it before. Well, lo and behold, they went in there to have a look, saw something they'd never seen before, took 11 sites, sent them away for biopsy, and I got the news back, there was no, everything was benign, they were, just did not know what to make of it, everything was absolutely clean. Well, the surgeons are saying that they don't know what I had, they don't know if what I created and I'm taking had any effect on the cancer, all they can tell me is they've never seen what they saw inside of me and I attribute this to my algae. I fully believe that with all my heart. I, you know, I, I do moderate exercise every day. I watch what I eat. I, you know, lead a very normal life. And in, as a bonus, I've lost weight. More than, and I've tried dieting all my life because I'm a diabetic, or I was a diabetic. If it's a coincidence or not, I don't know. But anyway, my blood sugar started dropping, my weight started falling off, and I ended up by probably within about a six month period, here I am no longer requiring insulin, and I was taking 88 units a day of insulin, and I now can, I can eat just about what I want in moderation and I have no elevated sugar levels and I feel fabulous. The potential benefits far outweigh the painstaking process to create even a teaspoon of a concentrated finished product. Well, we can do in a neighborhood of, in the winter months, about 25 ton of product. Summer months, up to 45 metric tons a day. And just as an example, these tanks you see beside me here, it would require 10 of these tanks of algae to give me one of these, which is an eight ounce container. So if you look at that, think about the magnitude of growing the equivalent of 45 metric tons a day. That's a, quite a remarkable feat because there's billions upon billions just in these three tanks and we can grow them in a, in a one million liter tank. So, and, and that's what we get our 25 or 40 ton a day from. With 8 million liter tanks, using nature's elements, Mother Nature's kitchen has the capacity to nourish the world. It boasts a nutritional analysis second to none, including pigments, diatoms, and xanthophylls. You know, in, in spring in the northern hemisphere, well, in the northern hemisphere, the, uh, uh, when the light conditions are right and the nutrient conditions are right, there's a spring bloom and you get, you get uh, hundreds of diatom species blooming. So they're producing uh, pigments, they're producing, there's a complement of amino acids, fatty acids, and vitamins. And the thing that's working in the product is probably the pigment um, called the xanthophylls. And um, in, in phytoplankton, um, there are two xanthophylls I can think of offhand that potentially have some great benefits, fucoxanthin and diadenoxanthin. With this scientific breakthrough, it's no wonder experts from all over the world are clamoring to get their hands on phytoplankton. We've had calls from Asia, we've had calls from the UK, we've had calls from many, many from the States, all over Canada, uh, people that have heard about this, uh, whether it be through word of mouth, um, through you know any articles that have been written in the newspaper, but this is a product that is in such huge demand uh, and it's very, very interesting when we're getting phone calls from, from people within the medical system or within the holistic healing, uh, people that are really taking a stand around their health that are looking for something. The world really is coming to our door requesting, you know, the product. They're hearing from their friends, they're hearing from this, that it is helping them in almost every aspect of their life. You know, he is he's very protective of this product and he doesn't trust it to just anybody. It's something that 
he holds very, very near and dear to his heart, as, as does the, the entire family. Even through such demand, those who partake this precious product are embracing health in a way like never before. A really good friend, and he had this problem with dandruff. I mean, we tried everything with him. Nutritional approaches we've tried, emotional approaches we've tried, adjustments, anything you could think of. He came into my office one day and he literally bent over and did this. He does that and I'm looking, there's nothing. And I, I, I couldn't believe it. And then he, he says, well I got this stuff. And it turned out to be the plankton, the phytoplankton. And I said, well what did you do with it? Did you put it on your head? He said, no, I just took it internal. And I said, well how long have you been doing this? And it wasn't even a week. It wasn't even a week till it was completely gone. When I saw that, I mean, lights went off all over the place. I mean, for, for that to have an internal product to have that kind of an effect on an external problem like that, it means that it had to do something amazing internally. Testing each batch to ensure the quality control come first at the conclusion of each batch. Yeah, every batch I look at, I mean, there's always uh, there's always a concern that uh, some condition has gone, has gone awry and you have to make sure that all the species are, are benign. Whether it will be your health, energy, pH, or just life force, let phytoplankton work with your body the way it works with Mother Earth. The thing about phytoplankton was it had such amazing results, I had to go to the books to find out what's happening. So the first thing I looked at was most people, well everybody, had this ama amazing change with their, their muscular systems and also the people had noticed that they weren't hungry so their sugar levels had changed. So if you go down to a cellular level, what part of the cell actually has an effect on sugar level? Well, if you look at the cell, there's a part of the cell called the mitochondria. And I think, I can't prove this, but it, it's logical. The common sense thing says that um, insulin resistance is because the cell can't handle the sugar anymore and it says no more. So insulin, the hormone that pushes the sugar into the cell, all of a sudden the cell is not having that anymore because if it keeps going, it's going to completely damage the energy producer in the cell called the mitochondria. And if it does that, the cell is dead because 90% of all the functions in that cell rely on the mitochondria to produce an energy molecule called ATP. Without that energy molecule, 90% of the functions of that cell cannot happen. So when I looked at it, it made a lot of sense. And then I looked further. What's really interesting is, a lot of the common diseases we're having today, what are they finding? They're finding damage to the cellular level, the mitochondria at the cellular level whether it's heart disease, whether it's um, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, um, any muscular related diseases, any neurological diseases, Alzheimer's, those kinds of things, they're finding the exact same thing. Phytoplankton is such a complete nutrient. And when I look at a complete nutrient, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for as close to nature as possible. And, and in all of the indigenous peoples of the world, the reason they're so healthy and all of the studies that show that they have the better complexions and the better teeth and don't have dental care but their teeth are okay and they're healthy and they live a long life is because they eat very close to nature. And so the closer to nature you can get, the better you will survive because the better nutrients can be transferred to your cells. Mr. Harper continues to be acknowledged for inventing this one-of-a-kind process while staying true to his vision and purpose. As a family, we're working really hard not to allow a lot of false hype and a lot of media um, hype um, to interfere with the integrity of this product. The intent is to share this with people from a, from a place of authenticity and, and, and truth. As for the Harper family, discovering how fragile life truly is, every day is a gift. They are just thankful to have another day. Thankfully was uh, insightful enough to see that this needed to stick around and he needed to stick his finger in that tank of algae and start eating it and, and I, I to this day am floored that he 
trusted himself enough, especially when his body was that worn down and he was that sick, he still had enough intuition and enough of a gut feeling and connection with his heart to truly go with his instinct. And his instinct was to stick his finger in that tub of phytoplankton and eat it.